What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? It is a freaking beautiful day here on Delaware. I've been wanting to do something here for a while, all right? So today we drove down here to the beach. It's like 40-ish degrees. Perfect beach day. Might get a little tan. It's actually crazy. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's like five other cars here. Like, literally, it's empty. We pretty much have this whole place to ourselves. So what we're going to be doing, man, I have been wanting to do a catch and cook here for a while. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it, too. Chef first day is going to come out today if everything works right. So pretty much, uh, it is like low-ish tide right now. The tide is going out. I think in like two hours, it will be low, low tide. And also, it's like the winter months to the tides like the low tides are even lower so we're gonna be doing something that i haven't done in a while and i've like honestly barely done it not really sure if this is gonna work or how this is gonna go but we are gonna be walking the beach doing a little bit of coastal foraging the water should be like super clear basically we're gonna be walking around and trying to find some stuff to eat hopefully with whatever we find hopefully we find something we can do a little catch and cook here on the beach prime real estate on the sand all by ourselves right near the water it's gonna be a freaking nice day hopefully we can find some stuff i got a couple ideas in mind also there's some new techniques that i've never tried before <sighs> one tool we have here Oh, this is a clam rake. I got this last, I mean, maybe February-ish. This was $60 for this freaking stick with the metal on it. I don't know if we're really going to use this. If we need it, though, we have it. Let me stop talking here, though, man. Let's get out here on the beach, see what we can do here. Ooh, okay. This is actually perfect. It's not too much wind. We are, like, the only ones here on the whole beach. So, as I said, the tide is definitely going out, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, yeah, this might actually be really good. All right, so look at these things. Right here, man. We already have signs of clam life. These are like the little, uh, what is, I think these are called razor clams. Oh, that water is so chilly. These things are freaking crazy, dude. I still, I don't know how exactly to cook these. Hopefully, uh, we can get some of these today. That'd be pretty sick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, look. There's a bunch. Oh, that water is so cold. There's a bunch of these shells around here. So hopefully, they're still around here. Never really done this uh, this time of the year. So basically, what we got going on here, there's like little islands that are starting to form as this water keeps going out. More and more of those little islands are gonna start popping up. All right, so this is our first stop here, man. This is a little island. We got a little seagull action going on. There actually are, shout out to the two people on the pier over there. They're like the only other human life forms in this whole area. All right, this actually looks pretty good. All right, so on this first little island here, we're gonna be trying something that I've never done before. I don't even know if it really works here in Delaware, but I've seen it done in like other places. See, so yeah, again, we're on this little island sandbar looking thingy. I'm gonna be walking around here looking for little holes in the sand or like little keyholes. From like how it was described to me, it looks like you put your key into the sand, like a keyhole, a hole from a key. All right, let me see if I can find something real quick. Let me know if you guys see any kind of holes. Okay, okay, okay. Here, look at this. There's a hole in the sand right there. I don't know what made that hole, but if this actually works, like what we're about to do, this is going to be one of the coolest things I've literally ever done, all right? So what I brought along with us today in my pocket, we got this thing of iodized salt. It's actually really heavy. It's loaded with salt, and we also, in my pocket, have a little cup. So if this is a clam or a razor clam, I don't know if it works on normal clams, but I've seen it before with the razor clams. If we put salt down this hole and we also put like water, I guess from the bay down in this hole, they climb their way up and they stick their like tentacle thing out because I guess they don't like the salt or something. I don't know, I've seen it in a video before. It looks like the craziest thing ever. So I don't want to lose this hole. I'm going to put a little circle around it. Oh dude, there's another island coming in right there. All right, this is good. This is good. So let's get some water up in here. All right, y'all ready for this, man? I don't know, like, this is iodized salt. I don't know if it really matters. Come on. All right, let's see if anything happens. Come on. Come on. You see it's going down the hole right there. Hello? Bubbles? I don't even know if there's anything potentially down this freaking hole. Oh, hello? What the heck is that thing right there? Some kind of jellyfish. Yo, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. If any of you guys know what species that is, please let me know in the comments below. I was walking over here, I thought that was a turtle. I kind of want to poke it, but I feel like I shouldn't. Okay. Is it alive though? Like, should I push it out? Look how bulbous it is. It just looks so squishy. It's got all that stuff in the back still. Is that alive? What do I do? The tide is going out. Um, this is another pretty cool piece of wildlife right here. This is like a, I think it's like an oyster shell. I don't know if there's any oyster beds in here. That's pretty cool. All right, found a new hole right there. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
Come out here, boy. Okay. So I saw like kind of like a little tiny hole in the sand. Oh God, no. It's like collapsing around my hand. Ooh. Let me go wash this dude off. Let's freaking, oh, that is a fat one. Oh yeah. Look at that right there, man. All in that darker muck. I don't know what exactly that is. Look at that. First clam of the day. Little razor clam. All right, so we know that they're here. The hand method worked. I'm telling you, when I just walked by this, I was like, eh, I'll stick my hand in. Oh, let me cover this hole back up. That is freaking awesome. All right, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Let's go, cool, dude. Wow, my freaking hand is like, ow. All right, that is good. We got something here. I knew I should have got that clam thing. If you guys remember, a couple videos ago, I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and they had like this PVC pipe thingy and you stick your finger on it and it just kind of like literally sucks like it's a clam sucker sucks them right out so you don't have to dig that far down maybe um yeah depending on how this day goes maybe we'll have to pick that up and give it a try i really really like doing it with my hand is cool but if i could get one with the freaking salt dude it's so sick like the videos oh gosh the videos i've seen their little arm or whatever the heck their leg comes out and like it's squirming around the top. I just don't know if I got the right salt, man. Let's see what he does when I just put him down. He's probably freaking out right now, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna do anything. It's all right, he's a shy guy. I think I actually see, is that a hole? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, let me like walking on my knees out here. Let me get some water. I don't know if y'all can see that. Literally right there, I'll put a little circle around her. All right, this is what we're gonna do, man. Just like the first time. Salt, 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 salt. Water. Suck that salt right on down there. Water. Kelsey's gonna be like, where the heck did all the salt go? Now we wait. Huh. Do you have to use like sea salt? What's the difference between sea salt and iodized salt? What the heck is going on over here? These seagulls are like diving. Hmm. All right, well, times you just gotta do things yourself. Let's see if this is actually even a hole. I mean, it went down like it was a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Ugh. There's a whole hole right there. I don't know why it gets dark and I mean this other stuff kind of stinky too. I mean if he's in here maybe he's still digging his way out. I'll meet him like halfway. Yeah I'm following the hole down. Just a disclaimer I don't recommend um sticking your fingers into just random holes. Whew, that is cold. I should be like a freaking snake down here dude. I think I lost my hole. What is going on? There will be other holes. Oh yeah that feels great. Of course now this is when people are on the pier they're probably like what the freak is that dude doing? Walking around with a giant thing of salt talking to himself. Oh dude this hole is like collapsing on itself. So I don't know if you guys can see this too. This is like the cool thing about when the tide goes out. There's even another little island forming right over there and there's one right there right next to the pier. Now if I was a clam. Oh is that a hole? Not a hole. Oh, hello. Now along with these razor clams too, there's a uh, normal clams here. They're usually not as far down. Okay, hold on. I was just about to go there. There's a hole right there. Oh, there's like two holes right there. You guys see that? You guys want some salt? Yeah, man, if I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. I have to be doing this wrong, right? I don't know what the freaking heck I'm doing. All right, I'm going in. Oh yeah, no, we got one. Okay, how do I get it though? This thing definitely feels me. Oh no. See, that's the weird thing too. It's like digging down now. Oh, that is such a weird sound. Dude, that is a giant. Oh my God. Why didn't you react to the salt, my guy? Okay. Wow, one thing I will say, dude, is this the same species I was catching in the summer? These things are fat. Do they get fatter in the winter? That is crazy looking, dude. These things they literally look like freaking aliens. All right, so there's the first one. That's the second one. This one's way bigger. Another thing I've kind of been seeing here. Oh, dude, 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 dude. I think that's a normal clam. I just saw a spit. This should be like right near the surface. I would think. Maybe not. That was crazy. Oh, oh, I feel it. Oh my God, it feels so weird. He's like pulling away. They're strong. Oh, he's pulling. Dude, everything he's got is pulling away. <laughs> I saw you spitting, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. That one's like, what is going on here? I don't think these are the same type of clams. So we have one really long one. And then we have two kind of longer, but not very, very long. I'm going to need to Google this. I don't know, actually. Watch are like super poisonous. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh no. Are you? Oh my gosh. Guys, is this thing still... Oh, it's still moving. Oh my gosh, it's literally moving. Um, okay, how do I? It's like firm. 
Okay. All right, we got it back. Dude, that thing is alive. Is he like moving? Go that way. We're about to hop islands here. Look at how much, I mean, if you guys remember, this place was not very out of the water. Now, all that's out, all that's out. There's islands, and islands, and islands. We're gonna go island hopping and see if we can find any of those like normal, like when you think of clams, we're gonna try to find those clams. This is the one we just caught though. I'm gonna let this guy go. He's kind of small, he or she. There's a bunch of these things all over too. A little like a snail dudes. What I'm gonna do, buddy, I'm gonna stick you in kind of. Wait, was that the wrong way? Dig, buddy. You could do it. Oh, we got some bubbleage. Oh, dude. Is that big enough? Ah, uh, clams. Oh, so we found something. I gotta see if this is big enough. I don't know the exact clam size. I'm just gonna Google it real quick. Look at that, man. That is exactly what I'm freaking looking for right there. Let's go. All right. This might be the island. Literally, the bubbles are what gave that one away. Look at all these holes, dude. Oh, I need that soccer thing. I think it'd be so much faster. Bubbles? Question mark? Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Hello? Where'd it go? Let's go. It's kind of... I don't know. This one's another smaller one, too. Look how pretty. Dude, it's freaking fun, man. Mm. Okay. Bubbles? Hole. Oh, look at this. This is actually pretty cool. This is a croaked horseshoe crab. Certain times of the year here, those things are everywhere. Yo, let's go, dude. Welcome to Chef for States Restaurant. Let me, let me show you guys kind of what we got going on here. Now, I actually did just look it up. These dudes over here have to be one and a half inches to keep. You keep like 100 or 150 a day or something like that. This is the only one that checks out. So we're about to go release these other three real quick. All right, let's put them back in. Don't move too fast now. See if they do anything. Hello? Can we just take a second? Look at the avias, listen to the water. We got some seagulls chilling. They're, dude, they're all on that tiny little island over there. Look at all the islands that formed out there. I don't even know if you can see that or not. Look how long my freaking shadow is, dude. Looking like Slenderman out here. So the sun is actually like on its way down-ish, dude. The sun sets so early nowadays. Nice thing actually about that though. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna get a nice golden hour sunset meal on the island. This is kind of what we got going on right here. Yeah, we have one big old long razor clam and I'm pretty sure I did some research. I think these are just razor clams as well. I don't know, hopefully. Let me know down in the comments below. I actually want to look it up again real quick. Yeah, we got one of those, one of those, so two of those, one of those. I feel like they're similar maybe, but not really. And then we got that dude right there. And then as I said, man, we're going to be cooking it up right here on the beach. We got the old uh, uh, cooker thing. We have a pan and a lid for that. And we also, over here, oh, it's been a long day of digging, dude. We have oh, some water. I'm actually going to be trying something I've never done before which is like steam the clams. Last time I boiled them, I think. And then one time I put them in the, uh, just like the stove. I was like, okay. It's just like crazy though, dude. For a December day out here, it's like in the forties, but with that sun, just like being at the beach, just make it's, I don't know. I just like the beach. I feel like I've said that a lot on this channel. What the heck is, can you guys hear that? Sounds like a freaking walrus. Oh, all right, let me go wash these off real quick. All right, now normally I would uh, recommend to put these in some water and just kind of let them spit and spew out like some sand and dirt and just grit that they uh, accumulate inside of themselves. Today, dude, it's just whatever, man. It is an extra crunch. Keep in mind though, I don't know if I said this or not, but I've never uh, steamed, like, I feel like I don't steam anything. Do you guys steam stuff? I mean, maybe like years ago in frozen veggie bags, you like steam it in the bag, but that's just a microwave. Can y'all see that now? Oh, the one dude was just poking out all crazy. Like, literally, these things are so freaking weird. I've said it a million times, but like, they're like little alien. That's the best way to describe it, man. They're like freaking aliens. I have not used this in like forever. Those going on that. Now this is the way I guess to steam them, you gotta put a lid on, right? That makes sense, kinda. Either you're gonna get boiled or steamed. Oh, you see that guy poking out there? I'm sorry, buddy. You should've dug harder and faster. This feels good, man. Like, actually, this, dude, I gotta do this stuff more. I miss catching and cooking on the spot like this. So yeah, I haven't used that in a while. Uh, it looks like it's doing good. Let me know uh, if you guys wanna see more catch and cooks and also like what other kind of catch and cooks you guys wanna see. Let me know down in the comment section below. More saltwater stuff, more freshwater stuff. I wanna be doing like a lot more traveling, but just with 
the whole just everything going on in the world right now i don't know we're gonna stay in delaware here for at least this month of december probably yeah it's weird pretty much for the longest time i've been craving clams i don't know you know what i'm talking about you ever get those like weird i want to eat that but like why well dude beat the shadow now this thing is freaking long dude look at that freaking wishbone the saw dude oh what is going on here oh well oh okay a little steam action oh yeah uh, that kind of defeats the purpose. So I guess in theory this is science, right? The water, you put like not that much water so it doesn't boil it, but uh, it like heats up and then it steams to the top. But you have a lid on so then that kind of cooks the stuff, sort of. Is that right? First state science. Well, the water's actually starting to boil a little bit too. You can see that right there. Oh, dude. Okay, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to cook these razor clams either. I still have no freaking clue. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think is like the best way to do it. I mean, Chef First State, obviously, I mean, it's gonna be good. Might be a little rusty. It's been a while since we actually done a catch and cook. Oh no, can I get an F in the chat? This is a different one. That is 100% not the same one. I actually saw three of these when I've been walking around. The other one I put out pretty far, but uh, yeah, this was all underwater. I guess yeah, it's, just, it's GG's for this dude. Maybe they survived though, or maybe... How do I know if he's even alive? Or she? I feel like the other one was moving. Can I eat these though? Jellyfish, catch and cook, question mark? Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. We got some things going on here. Um, should I undo the, it's kind of boiling. Oh, that dude, that's done, that one, right? When they open up, I guess, is when they're done. I think the only one that probably isn't done is that dude over there. I guess I wouldn't, oh, he's open. Are we good? Should I shut it off? Keep steam game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Now the one thing I did not bring, unfortunately. Wait, is that guy open right there? The third one? Sort of? Oh, they look so weird. Look at that thing sticking out right there. One thing I did not bring, which I would have loved to bring for these, is a little bit of lemon. I had lemons in my fridge, but they are like brown. <laughs> Peep steam game. Ooh. It's a little chilly out here. It's winter. Ooh, that actually smells kind of good too. We didn't put any seasoning on there. It's got the scent of the sea. Cause actually, I didn't even notice. There's people like sitting, watching the sunset over there. I don't know if you can see them or not. They have like lawn chairs out. I guess they're my neighbors. I think, oh, you know, that's hot. I thought this thing wasn't supposed to get hot. I guess we're just gonna let these cool down. Maybe I'll put them in the lid over here. Just peep the atmosphere though. I'll tell you guys, man, I need to do more beach videos. I need to do more saltwater videos. It's just that in Delaware, hmm, got a little sea where it's all, dude. But yeah, fishing, I mean, as well as just salt water and just everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, that all kind of slows down. Uh, if you guys have been watching the fishing content, it's just, it's been a struggle, man. I embrace the struggle. I'm still going out there, but it's just like, yeah, it's a lot tougher. It really, it's just like anything else though. You never know what's going to happen, but as long as you try your hardest, you know, stuff could happen. That's just a life lesson right there, man. You never know until you try. Just like these weird alien clam things, you know? This could be the best thing I've ever eaten, ever. Never cooked it like this before. I've only tried these like twice. The first time it was terrible because I didn't know what I was doing. Still don't know what I'm doing. Ow. So we're going to do this one together, man. I appreciate, as I always say, man, I appreciate all of you guys for all the support. Just watching the videos, commenting, leaving a thumbs up really does mean the freaking world to me. That's a good looking specimen. Right there. I don't know if I said it yet either, but if you guys do enjoy my videos and you are not yet already, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. YouTube is so weird. If you don't hit the noti bell, then sometimes you won't even know I uploaded. Like last video, apparently nobody knew I uploaded it. So if you guys haven't seen the last video, dude, go check it out. It's actually a pretty fun video, but yeah, let's get this thing out here. Ooh, that thing right there, I think that's called its foot. I believe that's what it uses to like dig. Well, first of all, before we get cold, that is a camper hair. <laughs> My dog's hair is getting all the way out here. All right, though, before this gets cold, look at that right there, man. Nice, juicy morsel. Doesn't even need seasoning, dude. Chef first date, you've done it again. We can definitely use some more of those in our life. I want to come back. Here's like my per, per, what's the word? Here's what I'm thinking, all right? So we can come back. We can have that little clam sucker from Dick's Sporting Goods. If we can get that, we get some clams. Hear me out, man. We catch a bunch of clams and we make some freaking bomb clam chowder. I've never made clam chowder. I haven't had clam chowder in a long time. Fresh homemade clam chowder. I mean, that might be one of the best things we'd ever cook. We actually made a uh, crab bisque. I'll leave that video down in the description below. We caught some crabs. Actually, at this pier right here a while ago and uh, we made some crab bisque that was fire we also made some like crab dip and stuff i like those like little unique kind of specialty recipes Ooh, we could also do like fried clams too like uh flaming hot cheetos crusted clams let me know dude let me know what we should do i definitely want to come back out here though or maybe we'll check out some other claiming spots that is uh very soothing oh that looks so freaking weird hold on can you see that that is like texture oh 
What the heck? I feel like you're not supposed to eat that part. Hold on, let me open up. Yeah, come on, finger. That is probably where it digs. Oh, look at that weird thing coming off the back. Yo, I actually don't know if I've ever ate these kind of clams before. Let me know in the comments below. Would you guys eat that? I actually did bring some seasoning, but I left it in my car, which is all the way over there. I brought uh, some hot sauce, some tapatillo. I figure, man, this and that might go good together. This is just weird, though. We're going to put that one down real quick. Let's get the skinnier one. Yeah, no, these have to be different. Look at this one compared to that. That There's a lot more stuff going on in that this one. This one is just kind of like a skinnier. Yeah, I'm just going to take a bite out of this. Looks better than whatever the freaking heck. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm very, like that one is very sus. All right, let's see this one. No seasoning. Not as weird. Well, I actually, could, mm, there's some sand. I actually really like that though. It's weird because I don't know how I cooked it the first couple of times, but I guess I didn't either cook it right or I cooked it too long maybe, or I didn't cook it. No, yeah, yo, that, I mean, if we caught a bunch of those, I think I like this better than the normal clam. It's not as chewy, but it tastes like, tastes kind of like more seafood, like crabby. Like tastes more like, does that make any sense? Oh, Ugh. dude, I don't know if it's that time of the night or something. What is going on? I was just looking over that way. Oh, dude. Did you see that? Hello? One just did it right there. Do you hear that? It sounds like freaking alien. Maybe it's part of the tide or something, but I was looking out that way. Water squirting. Water squirting over there. Oh, that was so cool. Gorgeous sunset again. Let me just do a quick pan around. I mean, Delaware, you know? Oh, we got some nice places, dude. It is time. We still got that dude in there, too. Okay. Let me know, man. Would you guys ingest that into your body? I mean, I don't know if I can get a good view of that dude or not. I, that big dude. It's very interesting. I don't know what part I'm supposed to eat. I just yoinked this out. Is that edible? All right, man. Let's do it. This part doesn't look as weird, I feel like. There's, like, poop in there. Is that poop? I don't think I bit into that part, though. Mm, I think it's just like freaked me out a little bit. Meh, five out of ten. Again, let me know if I should come back here. We're gonna do it right next time. Not gonna lie though, even without the tapatio, that stuff was actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still hungry. That wasn't like a lot, a lot of food, but my clam is quenched. Is it? My wanting of clam is satisfied. I don't, that probably sounded weird the first time. This was just a little warm, I'm telling you, man. Next time we're gonna be chefing it up. Calling out you, Gordon Ramsay. Just wait, man. My clams are gonna go crazy. It seems like all the squirting has stopped. It's like officially low, low tide now, too. Like, as you guys can see, these things. So many islands this is way, way, way more shallow out here than it is in the summer. It's crazy how those like seasonal tides are just so different. Yeah, man, beautiful sunset. Again, thank you guys for watching, man. The sun sets. And the day is wrapping up just as our dinner is. But I just want to thank you guys again for all the support, man. It's getting chilly out here, man. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where